Hello world, Geriatric Geek here. How in the heck are you? I hope you're doing great. It's another beautiful day here in North Las Vegas. It happens to be the July 25th, Saturday, all day long. <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining me, guys. It's nice to see you. I know you're here for what's in the description below. That's right, it's Dollar Tree time again. Uh, you know, it was an all right Dollar Tree. I was happy, happy to get a bunch of stuff, but most of it was actually for other people. Um, I uh, have probably half of these already. So um, I picked them up for other, other YouTubers and uh, friends and family. So don't get mad because you see the old geek with a, buying a bunch of stuff that will probably never watch because that's not true. I'm going to give them away. And you may even ask, Geek, what the heck do you do with all these movies that you get? You can't possibly watch them all. I don't. Most things that aren't horror, first off, I'm probably not going to watch. I'm going to give out to family members or whomever. But I also, I take and I clean them, clean things up. And we have a whole bunch of uh, uh, boys' homes, kids' homes, uh, group homes here in the area. I like to clean up my, my uh, discs, and we give them away. Um, you know, hey, believe me, I've worked in these group homes. They have very limited and sparse resources, so I'm always glad to help out if I can. A lot of times they, they don't need them or they don't, uh, you know, they don't have Blu-ray players or, you know. So, you know, I'm out here. I'm trying to do some good also. So, you know. Pull this down just a minute, you guys. A little bit too low for me. All right. So let's get into this Dollar Tree. Like I said, there was a lot of good stuff. I was lucky enough on my second trip that I actually got to open the boxes. So I got first dibs on a bunch of stuff. And I'm happy that that happened. Uh, so let's get into it. Let's see what the heck we've got. There we go. I think we're straight now. Anyway, I'm using my computer today just because these longer videos take forever if I use uh, use uh, my iPad. So we'll we'll get started right now. Guys, thanks for watching. Here we go. First up, I'm a big sports fan. I did not have this one. This is 30 for 30, season two, volume one, films one through 15. So if you, I don't know if you guys know or not, but uh, 30 for 30 is uh, a bunch of documentaries that uh, they put out. This I've watched a couple of these already. Um, there's No Place Like Home, Broke, that's pretty cool. Basically talks about how a bunch of sports people have gone, you know, made big money and then blew it all. And uh, anyway, glad to have this one. I, uh, like I said, I have another. One of the other volumes also so nice to have that one next up we've got some animation here for i'm not sure where this is going to go to uh, one of my family members or fellow youtuber we'll see spider-man the new animated series this of course was called originally called the mtv spider-man 13 episodes all cgi of course I don't know if you guys knew who Peter, who was uh, Peter Parker, who the voice was or not. You guys know? Put it in the comments right now. I know. One, two, three. Neil Patrick Harris. Yeah, Neil Patrick Harris was the uh, the uh, voice of Spider Man. There you go. It's the back. Next up. I had this one already, but I picked it up for a friend and a family member. Pimped, 2018, an hour and 30 minutes, and it's a thriller. It actually has two other movies on there called Riot and Executive Target. There's that. Pimped is, uh, looks, I haven't watched it yet. I, like I said, I do have it. Uh, looks pretty good to me. I don't, ooh. Oops, 
anyway, there you go. Pimped and Riot and uh, Executive Target. Oh, that's one thing I wanted to mention. Most of these, I mean, how about three quarters are put out by Echo Bridge this month. So Echo Bridge basically emptied their vaults and cleaned out a whole bunch of stuff. Another one for the grandkids, Tom and Jerry, No Mice Allowed. The 2013, 229 minutes, and that's put out by Warner Brothers, of course. There's the episodes involved. Who doesn't like Tom and Jerry? My little grandson, he, he loves them. He loves it. All right. I have never watched this movie, or I guess it's a movie, yeah, Rescue from Gilligan's Island, and 14 bonus movies. What the heck? 14 bonus movies. It's a 1978, not rated, 95 minutes. Doesn't get very good. I've not seen it, like I said. Uh, doesn't get very good reviews, but uh, hey, it's got Bob Den Denver, right? He's from my home state of West Virginia. Bob Denver, Denver, another Echo Bridge, by the way. Echo Bridge is doing it. How about a little horror, you say? How about a three-pack or a three, three movies? Jamie Lee Curtis in, that's right, Prom Night. I have seen Prom Night. This uh, contains movies one, two, and four. Be honest with you, I don't know why three's not in there, but um, uh, Prom Night itself is a 1980. Like I said, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, pretty darn good. Uh, the second one's from 1987, 97 minutes long, not so good. And the third or fourth one, 1991, 82 minutes long, R-rated. And to me, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, Prom Night Four. So. Like I said, I'm getting, I have these already, but uh, this is for a family member. So there you go. All right, some more kids stuff. Yay, Smurfs. What is this? Season one, volume one, Hanna Barbera. That's uh, Smurfs. 1981, loosely based on the comic book series. I don't know if you guys knew that. 19 cartoons on two discs. Grouchy, Brainy, Smurfette, Papa Smurf, doing their thing. Us ah, Smurfs. All right, little Dolph Lundgren in the house with Shark Lake. Shark Lake. 2015, not rated, 92 minutes long, action adventure. This was actually, I don't know if you guys know, but this was actually filmed in Lake Tahoe, at in, in Lake Tahoe. Oh, it's not an Echo Bridge. There's the back. Sorry for the glare, guys. I realize I'm not the greatest. Next up, something I have never seen and didn't have not don't have. Something called Visions, R-rated, 83 minutes, 2015. This is from Bloomhouse and Universal. Bloomhouse and Universal. Hmm. Visions. It's kind of interesting. This it has a number of people in it, but one of the most notable is right here. Jim Parsons from Big Bang Theory. Sheldon. Uh, from what I've read, I've read some reviews on this. He's probably the only good actor in it. The other people's acting jobs, not so good, but I want to check it out. Called Visions. Lady's desperate to prove her sanity. Hunts down a local medium who reveals the haunted history of the vineyard in which she now resides. As she desperately pieces together past events to keep a future horror from occurring, Evely uncovers a dark conspiracy that puts her life and the life of her unborn child at risk. Visions. Excuse me, just a moment. 
Uh, I don't know why I got this, only because there was ten movies on it. <laughs> ten action movies. High Octane Act. Universal Squadrons. Hell Binders. Fast Track No Limits. Treasure Raiders. Distortion. Recon 2020. The Caprini Massacre. Payback. This Thing of Ours. Good Girl, Bad Girl, and Mad Bad. Maverick puts that out. There's the back. Pause and read if you'd like. You know, these I get these just to turn off my brain, put it in, and kind of enjoy. I, probably, I usually end up going to sleep. But I, I, like, I enjoy them. This looked really cool. 50 features, including American favors, favorites, Dick Tracy, the mysterious Mr. Wong, and Nancy Drew. That's right. British Cinema Collection. The mysterious Mr. Wong. Starring Boris Karloff. And uh, the other one is Bella Lugosi. Man, there's some good stuff in there. Not sure if they're public domain or not, but as you can see, it's an Echo Bridge. Glad to have that one in my collection. And uh, next up, Comedy Legends series, over five hours, 14 features of Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy. These guys. Crazy stuff. Utopia, Lucky Dog, The Tree in a Test Tube, The Sawmill, Kids Speed, Enough to Do. There you go. Echo Bridge. All right, here we go. You know, my, my grandkids are always saying, Grandpa, what did you used to watch when you were a kid? I say, Popeye. Popeye the Sailor Man, 24 cartoons, not rated, 2008, of course, from Echo Bridge. These are from 60 to 62. Olive Oil and Wimpy and all the rest of the group. Glad to have that so I can... Show the grandkids what the old boy used to watch. Next up, well, yeah, I found a few Blu-rays. Uh, not a great amount, but anyway. There's Attrition, R-rated, 2018, 85 minutes long with Steven Seagal. Of course, it's an action thriller. Ex-Special Forces agent and Kung Fu expert Axe, Steven Seagal, has renounced his violent past and turned to a life as a healer a small remote village but when a local crime lord kidnaps a girl known to have a mythical have mythical powers axe gets back into the game i like steven seagal another echo bridge as you can see man you're really doing crazy echo bridge next up america's most haunted some legends never die includes four bonus movies 2014, another Echo Bridge, 448 minutes with all of these. Has America's Most Haunted, Bay Coven, Midnight's Child, Daughters, Daughter of Darkness, and Haunted from Within. Never seen any of those, so that's kind of cool. I don't remember seeing them. I, there's a possibility I've seen them. Just don't remember. Epicenter! Epicenter. I love these disaster movies. Of course, this is another Echo Bridge. Seven hours, 733 minutes. 2000, that's when it was put out, and R-rated. I see, there's a whole bunch of other stuff on here. Slipstream, TD, Survive, The Chain Reaction, Militia, The Day the Sky Exploded, Escape from Alaska, and Fire from Below. Go Bridge. Love my disaster films. Next up, Demon Hole. Echo Bridge, 2017, 81 minutes long. It's a comedy horror, I guess. Doesn't get very good reviews. It's about a bunch of pot smoking kids, I think, getting in trouble. 
Demon Hole. Six teens doing community service work in the remote forest have no idea that a fracking crew has drilled on native American ground and unleashed a demon. Trapped in the endless woods, will they become slaves to the demons, illusions, and temptations, or die? Featuring internet personality Sam Hain as the devil. Hain in Demon Hole. Next up, another one. This has been around, I think, and I, I'm pretty sure I have this one already, but I picked it up for a family member. Not rated. The Shadow Man. Drama, horror, 2017. Um, based on the infamous Shadow Man legend, a newlywed photographer is stalked by a dark man in a brimmed hat who follows her from her nightmares into reality. Sanity slipping, she meets a mysterious man claiming to know the shocking secrets of the hat man. It can happen to anyone. It can happen to you. Hmm. All right. Hollow in the Land. Hollow in the Land, not rated, 92 minutes, 2017 thriller. That's a Canadian film, and it gets pretty good reviews. I did check, check this. As, I did look this one up because uh, I didn't know. I had not heard of it. When her, with her father in jail and her mother absent, Allison Miller is the matriarch of the family, watching over her only sibling, Brandon. What they got to do, I guess. There's the back. All right. I'll pick this one up because it has Donald Sutherland in it. I have not seen it. It's called American Hangman. Another Echo Bridge, 99 minutes, 2019. Why didn't I hear about that? I guess it was direct to direct to video. It's a thriller. Sounds good. A mysterious, ruthless man abducts the retired judge straight. This abductor believes the judge falsely sentenced an innocent man to death. He plans to stage a trial over the internet with people all over the world watching. The viewers will act as the jury, and their verdict will determine the judge's fate. Echo Bridge. Did I say that? Looks interesting. Donald Sutherland gets hijacked, <laughs> kidnapped. A little Blu-ray action. Tekken. That's based off the game, I imagine. Tekken the game. I've never played the game. Kazuya's Revenge. Echo Bridge, not rated, 89 minutes, 2014. Doesn't get great reviews, but I like to watch these, uh, these style movies. Janitor, and they're struggling with him. He seeks to meaning behind the unforgivable acts committed by the father. Hmm. Haven't even opened these up yet, guys. So, there you go. Next up, I got this one because who's in it? That's right, Danny Trejo, Maximum Impact. Not rated, 2017, 119 minutes, action comedy. Need I say more with Danny Trejo in it? I like Danny. This was filmed in Russia, from what I understand. Since the days of the Cold War, Russian-American relations have been incredibly strained. The U.S. Secretary of State attends a secret summit in Moscow to find a way to ease tensions, but the operation is jeopardized when the leader of an international gang makes an attempt on his life and kidnaps his granddaughter. Now the Russian FSB and American CIA must join forces. Only they can prevent World War III and save millions of lives. Hmm. Yeah, that's going to happen. All right, little Steven Seagal, some more Steven Seagal for movie collection. Echo Bridge. 
Somebody's saying Echo Bay all day. Echo Bridge. <laughs> Don't remember. Steven Seagal. With Driven to Kill, Kill Switch, Mercenary for Justice, and Today You Die. I've seen a Driven to Kill and Today You Die. I've not seen Kill Switch or Mercenary for Justice. So that's why I snagged it. All right. Next up, we have a Wesley Snipes double feature. The Recall and Nine Lives. Recall and Nine Lives. 2018. I've seen either of them. Let me know down below if it's any good. And by the way, if you guys have seen any of these or you have them, if you've watched them, let me know down below what you thought of them. You know? That way I can prioritize what I watch. Something called Space Force Battlefront. It just has, it has a nice slippy dippy, PMAC would say. From Echo Bridge also, not rated, 73 minutes, 2018. Of course, it's sci-fi. This used to be called, I believe it was called um, Space, Deep Space. It's good reviews. Set 250 years in the future, Space Force Battlefront is a realistic, hard science fiction film that follows the first crew of astronauts sent into deep space. Humanity is at a critical point for survival, so when the deep space forward operating base becomes stranded, their chances for completing their already impossible mission began to look, begin to look bleak. That's when they realize they're not alone. Hmm... Go Bridge. All right. Coming down the home stretch. Domain. Domain. Not rated. 97 minutes. 2016 it was put out. Guess what this is about? A deadly virus that is destroying humans. Hmm. There's the back. I, I can't wait to watch this. This one sounds like it's topical, you know? It's about something that's going on now. After a deadly virus wipes out most of humanity, the survivors are forced to wait alone in self-sustaining bunkers while the viral threat runs its course. Able to communicate through a networked video interface, the survivors wait for years and slowly become a motley family of sorts. But their fragile social ecosystem is shattered when... One by one, they start mysteriously disappearing from their bunkers. Looks interesting to me. I'm going to give it a watch. And I got a couple of those. You won't see the, all the, the rest of them, I don't think. Excuse me. My eye is watering crazy. All right. Got another disaster film. Asteroid. Final Impact. 86 minutes, not rated, 2015. It's a TV movie. Not a bad disaster movie, as far as I can tell. And then there's bonus movies, Project Viper and Dark Breed. Never heard of either of them. Hmm. Let me know down below if you've seen this asteroid, Final Impact. I have not. And another one that looks really good to me. I actually have watched some of this on Amazon and really enjoyed it. It's called The Archer. It's got a nice slippy dippy on it from Echo Bridge. Not rated. 87 minutes, 2016. Looks good. It's a thriller. This looks really good. Let me know if you've seen it. And the, the other bonus mo movies are Taken in Broad Daylight and Headhunter, The Assessment the assessment weekend. Sorry about the stickers up here, guys. Like I said, I have not taken these off. I haven't even inventoried them. I haven't put them into my database yet, so. Sorry. Ah, something from my childhood. Long time ago. The Rifleman, season four. This is from 1961 to 62. 16 episodes, five Rifleman was on for five seasons. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. 
61 to 62. Chuck Connor and his modified Winchester. All right, something called dough. D-O-E. Some things are better left forgotten. Dough. Not rated. 106 minutes. A thriller from 2018. Looks good to me. Yeah. When John Hutton mysteriously awakens with no recollection of his past, but with the ability to speak dozens of languages fluently, he decides to start a new life. Years later, he is sent tumbling down the proverbial rabbit hole after meeting another man who shares a similar condition. Learning that there are still more amnesiacs with extraordinary abilities, Hutton works with a private detective to uncover the secrets from his past so that he can fully understand his present. There you go. Doe. He's a good character piece. We'll see. We shall see. I got this one. I don't know why I got this one. Other than it says it says, trust no one, fear everyone. Bold, evil, liar. Huh. Bold, evil, liar. 120 minutes, 2015. I know nothing about this, but uh, we'll check it out. It's like someone's getting some revenge, taking care of business on the back. That's kind of what got me. All right. Chris Dow O'Dowd, Chris O'Dowd and Ray Romano in Get Shorty, the complete first season. I love my first seasons. I've never seen a minute of this show. Of course, it's a comedy drama from 2017 of 565 minutes. Ray Romano. It gets good reviews. Like I said, I've not seen it. Let me know down below if it's any good, if you liked it. This, I, I believe I have seen. It's been a long time ago, but I picked it up for a family member. He's out there. He's out there. R-rated, 90 minutes, 2018. Remember, that, like the, it's really creepy, and the kids in this were really good actors. That's what I remember. Let me know if you've seen it, whether you liked it or not. I think it's pretty good. And then we got a bunch of these. Robert the Doll double feature. Robert and the Curse of Robert. I've seen Robert. It's 84 minutes long, not rated, 2016. But I have not seen The Curse of Robert. Uh, the Curse of Robert, man, that's that's 2016, excuse me. Hmm. 84 minutes, yeah. Robert is uh, 95 minutes long from 2015. So 2015, 2016, the Robert series. Uh, I do like some good, and let's see. Possessed Dolls. I like Possessed Doll movies. I don't know why. And finally, for this round, because the old geek, that's right, I'm heading out right after this to two more Dollar Trees. One of them I know has um, video, uh, has movies. The other one I, I haven't called yet, so I don't know. But as soon as I do this, I'm heading out. Maybe we'll have another video uh, Monday. Anyway, Look away. Looks can be deadly. Non-rated, 100 minutes, 2017. A lot of this stuff, recent stuff, you know. Look away is a story of Maria, a rejected teenage girl who finds solace in her own mysteriously autonomous mirror image from the torments of high school and her alienating parents. So from what I understand, she switches from her real self into the image in the mirror somehow and kind of walks around in the mirror world. At least that's what I'm getting. Not seen it, so. There you go, guys. What'd you think? Quite a few, quite a few movies there, geriatric. Anyway, hey, thanks for watching, you guys. I do appreciate it. Um, 
like I said, I'm going to head out right now as soon as I finish with this video and uh, see if I can't find some more at Dollar Tree. And uh, I'll have that up for you. Probably come uh, maybe Sunday, maybe Monday. Depends on what happens. So, hey, again, thanks for watching. I do so appreciate it. You guys keep smiling. Keep having fun. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We're going for 2,000 now. That's right. I've set it. I've set a goal for 2,000 subs. Fantastic Four and I say keep smiling. Keep having fun. Peace.